Pag bawon nga 5 Load em up boys Hey Golo Turn channel 40 and turn your radio on Hi Turn your radio on And smile eh <laughs> the boys <laughs> <Four. laughs> load them up. Going to Edgby, Edgar Rangers, going out and um, do some traditional burning and stuff, and taking out the country just to make sure everything is right. Yeah, this is um, going to the country. My brand new chainsaw, good got to use. Well, how, how does that feel? Feel really good. <laughs> Roby, Roby 38cc full crank, two stroke. Oh, that's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the poor baby all scratched up. Oh, that's all right. Huh? No, no, you're right. <laughs> that's, what it's, that's what it's for, isn't it? You're going to put sun cream on them next time. Gulu, recognize his face from that other Gary Daddy episode where he went, got them turkeys, did some burning. Yeah, when he'll be uh, doing some traditional burning, just cleaning up the country a bit, just on the road. Yeah, so. so it looks a bit too thick, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You trim, slim it down a bit, give it a burn, eh? We're going to do them over there, better get all them traps. Purple traps over there, so yeah. we get going. I'll put the drone up so you can see what it looks like from the sky. Looks pretty thick in it, doesn't it? Oh, I'm going in here with tongues. There, you do a couple, eh? Do a couple. Probably. That's it. Beautiful. That's it. Don't want to burn too much, eh? Just do a little patch like this. Patch? Yeah. Do a little. What? So I think we need to get out of here. Yeah, I'll put the drone up quickly. Boys. Mm -hmm.
buddy. in between that's unburnt you know like not affected so animals can hide out in that area or live in that area peacefully uh, without being affected by the fire <clears throat> and so we're just catching up to the other mob because I was mucking around with the drone um, and so this is what they call mosaic, bur mosaic burning um, but traditionally this is the kind of burning that was sort of done to look after country but why we're doing it today as well as that is for hunting so we uh, just like on our previous episode we're going to come back this way on our way home um, and so hopefully by that time there's going to be some turkeys around there because already you can see around the fire There seems a little critters running out like little insects and lizards and stuff like that running out of the fire or away from the fire um, <clears throat> And so that's what the birds will come for for them. And so when they do we'll be there as well, won't we? Straight through the water <laughs> Straight through, <laughs> straight through water. Uh, Yeah. And so you can see in that picture just what Abby was saying <clears throat> You can see it's still pretty green Still pretty green around um, and so it's not too dry. It's not going to just the fire is not just going to wipe through burn everything like a big inferno That's what you're saying, Abby. Yep, that's yeah. it. Yeah. And so also you notice uh, you probably can't tell but it's the afternoon now <laughs> It was about 2 30 and so the afternoon this time of the year The winds actually dropping the mornings are quite windy and then the afternoon it, it drops off and then so it gets cooler in the night because it's the what are we? Two turkeys ahead of us. Two turkeys, turkeys ahead in front of us. <clears throat> oh, there's a couple of turkeys on the road already. They've obviously already came for the smoke but um, we'll see if we can get them. Yeah, but yeah, as I was saying, as I was saying, grab this thing. Yeah, <laughs> but as I was saying, yeah, um, so, yeah, so this, this time of the year it gets cool in the night, and um, and so the fire gets put out from that coolness. Um, oh, I better shut up. <laughs> oh, it's too big, too big turkeys up there. Where's the window? Yeah, you let it. Yeah. Why don't you put the little one in there? Go right up. Might be too far for the drone. Try my doesn't it? Go the same time. You ready? Yeah, you ready? Quick, quick relay. Like. I forgot the GoPro, but um, we drove up, and the Turkey was right on the side of the road. And so, just wound the window down and have a, had a shot, quick shot. And so we got that one. <coughs> so we're just going catching up to the other boys. Um, they've obviously they've, they've started another fire up ahead. Well, they, they, I know they did because they told us on the radio. We've been communicating by radio, make sure we're safe. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if I finished saying this earlier, but the, the, the purpose of lighting the fires. In the night time or in the afternoon is because in the night time the coolness comes in and smothers the fire yes <clears throat> and so in that way it doesn't keep spreading or keep burning 
and burning everywhere you know and so and because things are sort of half ready to go half nice and dry that's why this is the better time of the year yeah. for this activity all right i think i covered off on everything i yeah, wanted to say basically just burning up all the debris and everything. yeah burning off all the dead stuff that doesn't yeah. need to be there but also creating clutter it's, it's, no, it's no good for the yeah environment these burns like this as well you can imagine old people living on country like a long long time ago <clears throat> every now and then if there's a wildfire that gets loose and if they're living on country well they know how to tame it if, if, if they're living on country and um you had a big wildfire coming along that kind of threatens life they can get caught in the fire you know and so but if you have these back burns or these burns taking place on country if there's a wildfire that comes along through here that old people remember there's a there's a cleared area over there because they had already been burnt <clears throat> and you can go and hide in there safely or you'd be sort of upwind in that area so the fire doesn't come across and threaten life you know mm. and so it's a protection it's a safety sort of um, activity as well it's not just mm. a hunting or uh, you know looking after country the eco ecological side of things yeah. <clears throat> all right we'll get to you'll be soon I think Yeah, this all the um rock caves. Out by Grand Canyon. Woohoo! This is the Grand Canyon. Oh yeah. The boys. Is those fires we come across here? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you still a ranger? I resigned. So they both used to be rangers for Karajari. And this is where we used to work. Oh, we still got jobs on you. Here's some buckets down there. So saying Old traps. they had to go right down inside here, do some trapping. Um, they call pitfall traps. Hmm. <clears throat> Where basically there's a bucket in the hole uh, in a hole in the ground, and anything that creeps along will drop into there, and you can sort of do a survey, biodiversity survey on the area with that sort of survey. This is Ilby, boy. This is Ilby. <coughs> Hi guys. This is the first time I've been here. This is a deadly place. Water holes? Gullies, waterfalls in there. <laughs> Some rock wallabies around here too. Rock wallabies. Different types of reptiles. What's another one? They got the um. What those ones? The banded snake? The sand banded snake? Yeah. Um, it's pretty big. You know how big this is? Uh, I think it's around... Well, this area itself, I think it's... 200... No. 100, 120 kilometers square? 120 square kilometers? Yeah. Right. Too much in the edge! You can break. You might break away. It's a nature reserve. It's a nature reserve. Oh, father will walk from that way. Oh, dump you down, see if you walk straight across that way to to um Manor Spring to Marlow Bridge and walk. Oh yeah, we went last time on that other video. Yeah, yeah, so yep. you walk from there. Straight across when he's young fellow, like, go straight up three. Gold yeah, south. Yeah. Fight up. Fight up. Yeah, he's modeling. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding behind me. <laughs> big long range or Edgar range? Oh, at the, at the back. There's a big range across there you might not be able to see. It's Edgar range. Karajari country? Karajari country. There's some pools way over there. 
It's somewhere over there. And that, uh, when you want to talk about America or Grand Canyon, or look at a Grand Canyon there. Yeah. yeah. This is it, boys. This is a couple of hours travel here. Yeah. Just to get in. <laughs> we got a burger. We got to cook that burger up. Oh yeah. Relax. Gotta cook that turkey. In the distance we're gonna we let some we did some traditional burning there, we get some fire. Maybe we might see some burger in the afternoon turkey. Yeah. Can I go down there? Yeah. We yeah. got some big them rock holes, other side that hill there, that's Grand Canyon over there. Oh yeah, it's a bit more of a canyon over there. That, that white section. Well I might have to get the drone up, I think. Look at that big track. Oh, that's a beast. One big toe. Mm. Big goanna track. That's a big sucker. It's, it's a big bung era. It's a big oh, bung era. <laughs> oh, do another burn here as well. It's a bit too thick there as well. So, plucking it up. Big one. Yeah, you say before uh, traditional dancing. So, that's how we end up with big more turkey feathers. Oh yeah, for you like uh, when you tomorrow. We do a morrow. Yeah. Okay. 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 So this is where he's keeping all the feathers. For now. We're dancing. Oh look at that fire. <laughs> Yeah, so you can see it's just another small patch. Just another small patch. Modern day blackfella. 
<laughs> what are you looking for there, Coke? What are you looking for? I'm scoping for emus. He's having a look, using the scope as a binoculars to yep. look for emus. Anything lurking in the um, tall grass? Yeah. Spot them. And then probably an opportunity to load it up and take a shot. Might even see kangaroo, eh? Yeah. There'll be big kangaroos out here. Big marlo. Big mini marlo. So we've just stopped here for a little rest and um, get the turkey ready. And then we're going to go back somewhere over there and cook it. Whoa! And cook it! We're just going to sing the outside over there. <laughs> yours, yours, eat them. Yeah, fire. Bring them in fire here. <laughs> A little bit more, little more. Yes, little bit more. Medium. Yes. 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 Perfect. Sharpening there. Oh yeah. All people more stuffed there. Is that like old um old this is what they call it silky kind of stuff, eh? Yeah. Hey. Well, hey. well, sharpening it. Yeah. Hey, this way they must get more, more, more scattered all around in there. Yeah. Scattered around, huh? Eh? Yeah. All people stuffed. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'm using it all. Yeah. No. Little, little one. Oh yeah. Someone recently carved off some of the bark. Medicine bark. Make a job right here, I think. Oh yeah. All colour them? All cut them there? Yeah. Also this might be very old, isn't it? Let's make a cover right here. No. Oh, was that just there? Yeah, yeah. Everyone, sort of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get him there. Stop him putting him. Is somebody going to chop him off? Yeah, come. We need more bark. You want a young one? He's a really safety conscious man, this Kulu. See, he's got his gloves on whenever he's working with fire. Always, always have this. <laughs> PPE. <laughs> Kulu used to be ranger coordinator. Nah. Lead ranger. Head ranger. Head ranger, there you go. Yeah. Not enough. Something different? smell isn't it it's like a put up a hole but right now when you're hungry there's no holes cut them in pieces just don't want to wait too long eh mm -hmm. <laughs> put it in wrap them up in oil foil and what shattering coals I don't call it. I mean, we'll get, yeah. Or on the grill, whatever. 
with all that peace This is What if you give it? Nice and crunchy. A little flat around it as well. Herring, sometimes you can find diamonds in there. Yeah, well. If the if the turkey swallow diamond, eh? Yeah. Found a rock. Oh, you found a rock in there? Yeah. Couple of little. That was inside. That's the lucky rock. Lucky rock. You want a drumstick? Hello, yes. Turkey made two different colours, eh? Yep. The chest one is on his red. Yeah, it, it, I'm already say like usually we'll cook it in usually we'll cook it in the ground, but we don't want to wait too long. Mm -hmm. So instead, mm -hmm. this time around, we're just gonna cut it up in small pieces, just wrap it up in olive oil, and then put it on the grill or on the coals. Yeah, and I got them tongs in my car too. I think. Lovely, tender red meat, fresh, about as fresh as it can get, eh? Yep, proper. Best part. Best part. There's the a tail. There's the tail part. <laughs> it's good, you still got your gloves on? Yep, don't want to chop me up. <laughs> oh, we got a feed happening here. It's got a strong smell, doesn't it? It's got its own smell. Uh -huh. Turkey blood. You're separating the ribs. Rib cage. That one rib. Okay, this one. Good. Like this. Good operating. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Check it out. That's a little hot. Like, you can't. Like, that's Just the order of the boat coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the order of the boat coming up? All those pieces ready to go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, the story, like, you know, I'll let you and Lam know that this is the first time you guys see it. But just over there, uh, next to a place called Marl Bluff, you know, there was a big massacre happened there a long time ago. You know, my grandfathers were there, they got shot, you know, and one of my grandfathers got shot and chucked off the crevices of the cliff there. But, um, you know, there were Nigana people, Kajari people, and Mangala people, they all having ceremony there. Women, men, children, and all, you know? And they were having ceremony. But all these policemen, you know, and station owners, they got together and they, you know, they were just like um, outlaws, you know, they, they just went and hunt all these Kajari, Nigana, and Mangala people, and, you know? And they, you know, along the way, because it was all over a sheep. You know, because I was killing sheep for feed, you know. But on the, on, the, on the way, they wasn't getting the right people. They were actually <coughs> shooting anybody. They, was, you know, they shot a couple of um, old people here and there, you know. Even my grandfather got killed, was thrown off the cliff. You know, they, they came across all this moment, Mala Bluff side, having a um, ceremony. And, you know, they gathered around them up. This was all. You know, the police and the station they gathered all them people up. You know, there were women, men, you know, and there were children, you know, all day, or even old people was there. And like, Langa people, you know, Gajari, Nigana, Mangala were all together, you know. And anyway, they were there, like, you know, the police gathered them all up. When they gathered them all up, they, um, you know, they, Said, uh, well, go get a big fire. I didn't know what they was getting that big. Go get a wood, big him a wood, them gather them, get big him a wood, you know. Jungo, Jungo, them, them big and small. And he had murdered them, murdered them, big and small day. A lot of, you know, there's all day, them all people. So, them grab all the Jungo, all the wood, them grab them. And they didn't know what they was getting the Jungo for. And when they, you know, them heap them up like a big heap. And all of a sudden, that the police mob and the station will start putting all Nganjarga, all people, they put them all on the chain. And when they put them all on the chain, you know, they're all chained up. All these women, men, children, all chained up. In that place, that direction over there. there. Other side there, Mala Bluff. There's Yerim and Hill over there, but right up that side there. And anyway, you know, they made a big fire. Then they came with a 44. The station owners and these policemen came out of 44, started shooting them one by one. You know, they, 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 um, you know, what are, you know, they shot them. And when one fall down, they would tug the chain. They, you know, these old people knew they was kind of all gonna get shot because they were shooting them one by one. So they massacred them all out there. And then, they grab all their bodies, women, men, and children, and chuck them all in a fire. That big heap of wood, they gather up. They didn't know they was gathering up for themselves, that jungle, you know? They chuck them all on there. And when they chuck them all on there, they let them burn all night. All the bodies was burning all night. Biggest fire. Till them come in the morning and even smoldering in the morning, you know? When it's smoldering in the morning, they please with their boots, you know? Then start crushing the bones. They're crushing the bones with their feet to probably hide away the evidence, you know. Them, you know, wanted to make it disappear by crushing their bones, you know. And my grandfather was next to Bijaranga side sleeping. You know, even Bogaramara even have a dream. And when he had a dream, this song came to his, him came to him in his dream, you know. It you know, it came came out of that burning fire, you know, a burning thing, bones, you know, and this song came out, you know, this song came out, you know, and from over there it traveled right across to my grandfather in a dream. 
my grandfather been bugging about this marrow, you know, he dream about this song. He would, and then he got up in the morning and this song was telling him what had happened out there and Mala Blasad, what had happened to, you know, all our, our old people, and where they got massacred. You know, and that's the song now. And like, this story is not told by just one Gajari person. He told by Mangala and Yiganam, you know. They all know the story, you know. And, you know, like, we're not telling a, a lie what had happened. It's coming from three different groups. They're telling the same story, what had happened out there to our people. And today there's a big massacre that happened there to our people, you know. And that song came out of the massacre. He came to my grandfather to him, telling him what had happened there. And today, as Karajari people, we sing about that marrow, Rargo Rargo, we call it. Even, you know, bones, you know, we sing about that marrow today. Oh, fresh as. This one here, ready? Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. Look at all these turkey bits. Mm. Fresh. Fresh as, bro. Mm. Anybody, who's eating the top? What? <laughs> How's this? We've got the ranges over there. <laughs> got the beautiful sunset happening. Mm. Mm. Should have bought the camping gear, eh? Mm. Still playing to go. There's a couple of boys haven't come back from hunting yet. You see they moved the meat off away from the, the coals. It's just now staying warm for anywhere you want something to eat. Oh what's that? That's a liver. Kidney. 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 No, heart, heart. Heart, heart. Oh. <laughs> Turkey heart. Delicacy man. Was that? Someone saving it. Just sitting here, found another grinding stone. <laughs> Obviously, old people sat sat around here too, you know, living here. Mm. These same areas. Uh, big camping area, this area. Yeah, big camping area. Of guys, are people? Yeah. So good. Plenty of water around here. And very important place for guys, are LB. We bought this story, guys. The boys came back after a little hunt. Got another one. Son of mine is over there, cleaning it off. I'll show you on the drone. That sun's going down now. Beautiful sunset. Probably take a couple of hours to get home, eh? Yeah, it's relaxing now. We have the whole thing. Not a fall. <laughs> Good day out. Successful little hunt. Some stories. Another humbug. Nice and quiet out here. 
Beautiful. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. You enjoyed your in laws kind of yeah? I'll tell you about what you want coming from here. Other side, the peninsula. Coming this way. Yep. Okay. See your wife's country? Yep. See you guys' country? And we're going to come out with the Lamia and yeah. the boys, the sons, and two Yagos. Yep. It's a good day out. Yep. We still got one more meat over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to come out here for. You know, oh, three Yagos. I forget. Yep. Seven feet, finally. And also, I'm um, taking out, uh, also doing some traditional burning at Kolo and Aspen. Yeah. Cleaning up the country a bit. Yeah. It's good to, you know. Up, you know. Can go further. Yeah, I saw it on a drone dying out already. It's not like spreading further than we wanted it. And it's good to come out and do some, you know, like activities like, you know, yeah. Please, you know, doing, doing traditional burning out here. Always getting some, you know, margarita, turkey. Yeah. You know. mm. so good for the grandson. He, he lives in Canberra, so it's good for him to oh, come yeah. back to the country. <laughs> he, he, he don't live here anymore. <laughs> he, he's just from here. He's done living here. from here. <laughs> yeah, I live over there. Yeah. On the other side of the country. On the other side of the country. Yeah. And you heard us leave from rugby. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, this coast they play rugby. Yeah. And, and <laughs> when, in, when in Rome, eh? When in Rome. <laughs> oh, look at all the, look at all the chops no one's eating. Because <laughs> everyone ate all the turkey. <laughs> no, it won't go to waste. We good. Garbage bag? Yeah. Come bring them, please. <coughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, That's you can tell now with that brown. Yeah. Might be a bit late. Mm. Oh, you're going to make fire to singe it or not? Yep. Make a fire, bro. She'll go fill up on there. Make spinifex by itself, cinnamon. Yeah, spinifex here by itself. Yeah. No. Get some tiggy feather for oh, our Oh, another big one. Some more feathers oh, for the thing, dancers. <laughs> give that young fella there. <laughs> Just singing the outside of it. Get rid of any little mites or any midges. Also get rid of the last little bits of feathers as well. Seals up nice. That's it. That's it, ready for cooking. Wow, oh, this is the life. This is that Kimberly life, see? The broom life. This is that Gary Daddy life. Oh, I shot it right in the neck. Yep. That's what I always do. <laughs> All right, guys. We're just going to wind it up and start heading back to town. See you later. See you next time.